Christians are celebrating Easter. The Jewish community is marking Passover. It commemorates the exodus of Jews from slavery in Egypt. And today, News Channel 8's Anthony Allred went to Hillel Academy of Tampa to see how the school is teaching students the importance of Passover. We're here at Hillel Academy where we are celebrating Passover. I know it's a couple of days early and I don't know a lot about it. So I thought I'd bring in an expert here. I thought I'd bring in Allison Oaks to tell me a little bit more about what we have on the table here and what does it have to do with Passover? Absolutely. So Passover is a celebration of redemption from slavery in ancient Egypt while also being a time that we remember what it meant to be slaves so we don't live through that again. And one of the things that we do is we have foods that have double purposes. So this is called haroset. Haroset represents the mortar that the slaves use to put the bricks together in ancient Egypt, but it's sweet. So it's also there to remind us of what sweetness and freedom and happiness is. And I have with me here Nava Kirk to tell me a little bit more about what they're growing and the significance of Passover. Yeah, so the students right now are harvesting the parsley that they grew in their hydroponic garden. And for Passover, parsley represents both renewal and bitterness. So this is our Seder table. It's a tradition that every year we tell the story of the exodus from Egypt and some of the things that we have on the table represent that. So for example, we have the Seder plate, which each item represents either something about being slaves or freedom. We have Elijah's cup where we welcome um, Elijah into the house. Matzo ball soup is a tradition that you'll find in, on every table, on every Seder. Passover celebrates the exodus from Egypt and what's happening right here is the the quintessential moment when Moses gets to the Red Sea and he waves his staff over the Red Sea and then it splits so that all the Israelites can march through the Red Sea over to the promised land of Israel. Now this is a, the last day of school before Hillel Academy goes on to spring break so they were gracious enough to let me in and share some of their Passover experiences in Tampa. Anthony Allred.